In Chester County, six schools went into lockdown while police searched for a guy who stole a car, then ran off. All right, so another violent night on the streets of Philadelphia. Police are looking for a gunman who shot a man in the head in the city's only section. It happened around 10 last night on the 5800 block of North American Street. Police say the 29-year-old victim may be brain dead. Good news there, John. Thank you, sir. Well, with the beautiful weather we're having, many people are ditching the 9 to 5 for some early beach time. Let's go to Fox 29's Sean Tobin live in Ocean City. Lots of folks playing <laughs> hooky today, Sean, huh? Parents and teachers are outraged over a plan to cut more services and staff from Philadelphia schools. Check out the view from Sky Fox as protesters gathered outside the School Reform Commission. 706, the man accused of throwing hot coffee on a donut shop employee will be in court today. It happened back on May 8th at the Fresh Donut Shop in Southwest Philadelphia. You remember this. The store's surveillance video recorded the entire incident. We begin with breaking news tonight. A close call for a Philadelphia police officer tonight. It happened here on the 1700 block of Cotman Avenue. Sky Fox over the scene right now. Police say the officer was on scene of a crash when a suspected drunk driver pulled up and hit one of those cars involved. That pinned the cop between two cars. That driver is under arrest tonight. The officer is hospitalized with leg and back injury. I kind of miss a snowstorm. I know. I, I do too. I've been saying that all season. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just one. Yeah. Just one. Yeah. And it's, that's it's, all right. That's all right. <laughs> it looks like we'll have to wait till next year. Love style. But have you ever <laughs> dressed like your wife or maybe even your girlfriend what? back in the day? Yeah. You know, you dress alike. Did you ever do that? Dress like my wife? I mean heels. No, I'm just she dresses nice. No, but I mean, yeah, do you ever? Yeah, I get the heels on. Some extensions. Yeah. But you know what I mean. Only on Friday night. Back in the day when I was in high school, the couples used to. <laughs> There's another way to ask that question. You know what I mean? Did you dress like? Never. Match. Thank you. Match. Okay, coordinate. that's what match. Dress like your wife. Same difference. Still no. <laughs> Never coordinated? Not really. Maybe a wedding or something. I think I did one or two times in high school. The house next door on the 6100 block of Delancey Street is crumbling, and their story is becoming all too common. It is one of the estimated 40,000 rotting and abandoned properties in the city, a collapse that's gone from bad to worse to downright dangerous. It's so devastating. I'm, I'm frustrated. From the front, it's just another vacant house. But take a walk out back, you better watch your back. Each day you wake up or even in the middle of the night, you hear dropping. This is what Sakina Squirrel sees every time she looks out her window. An entire wall of an abandoned house has collapsed. The owners moved out 10 years ago, and that collapsing wall being held up by just a tree branch and some cable TV wires is just inches from her home. If that tree wasn't holding it up, that little piece of tree wasn't holding it up, it would be gone. Then there's the raccoons, the rats, mice and dead animals. But this problem is a lot more than just cosmetic. This is an issue of safety. If, well scratch that, when this wall ends up falling, it'll go directly into the bedroom of Squirrel's daughter. Her bed is like right next to the wall, so she can't even sleep in her bedroom anymore. She has to sleep with me. After several calls to the Department of License and Inspections, she called the fire department, who showed up on Friday. The um, fire department said we need to move. It's an intimate danger that if it, if a rain comes, it's coming right over here on us. Elle and I finally told Squirrel they will send someone out within 15 days. Frustrated. Every she doesn't every think she has that long. And I start taking pictures down, start moving furniture because I don't want my belongings to get damaged and damaged who's going to be responsible? I did get a chance to speak with a spokeswoman from the Department of License and Inspections late today. She promised us they would send out an inspector immediately. Of course, we will let you know what they find. We got some bad news for Phillies fans. Another star player will miss the start of the season. First it was Ryan Howard. Now the team says Chase Utley will not be ready to go on opening day. Oh, what are we to do, Fox 20?
Fox 29 gets results for some local tech wizards. We reported last week how the school board would not let the robotics team at Eisenhower Middle School in Norristown to travel to the World Championships. That is until Fox 29 got involved. Our Dave Kinchin is live in Norristown tonight. Dave, some results tonight, but a roadblock remains, I understand. That's what a little buzz, cutie. Aren't they? Both oh my of them. Gosh, that's so darling. Well, a survey from Gallup and Healthways breaks down obesity in the United States. Yeah, there's a Pennsylvania and a New Jersey metro area that made very different lists. Now, I know there, uh, there are not a lot of NASCAR fans in our area, but if you ever go to a race, and that's what got me, you go to an, a NASCAR race, it really is one sport that you see it, you smell it, you feel it. Oh, there are gazillions on our Facebook page. Yeah. A lot of good day NASCAR fans. Oh, you'll see them. I come love out it. Got to go to a race for you. I didn't realize it was three stories high. Yeah. Goodness, Sue. Got some advice for you. Oh, bring it. I got lots of advice uh, for you. I have been asking everybody, a lot of you guys on Facebook. I was telling Chris Karen Ooh. when I announced that I was having twins, this twin club came out of the woodworks. There's like this fraternity, sorority well, thing. Every city it. has mothers of multiples right, and fathers and of multiples. Jeff because Cole? it is a specific kind of thing. Special... There's a lot of different challenges yeah. that you may not have with, with singletons, but it's... Yeah. it's you Jeff know. Cole is a twin. A lot of people don't know that. Our investigative that. reporter. Jen Fred. Jen Frederick is a twin. John Anderson in our building has twins. You have twins. We've got some people upstairs who have twins. So yeah. bring on the advice. Something's in the water. Yeah. Well, I mean, the best thing is, first of all, get your sleep. You're, you're going to need it. it, it you're, because you, you mean get say, it now. Yeah, get Let's it now. And even when they come, because... I, I think we have a picture of my Okay, girls. I want to look at them uh, while that you is talk. Eva Aww. on the left and Sophia on the right. That was actually taken a couple days ago at the North Wildwood Boardwalk. They're oh, getting girls. so big. I know. I remember when you and brought them here on Good Day for Halloween. Yeah, they were little babies. Now they're going to school in the fall. But I tell you, it's, uh, you know, um, you, you, as much as you want to do things around the house and be with them, you have to get your sleep because for them, they need you. They, you, yeah. they need your energy, and it, it's just, and I always told you, don't buy two of everything. You don't See, need two of everything. two of everything. Are they identical? A lot of people They're are They're fraternal. Yeah. They're fraternal. And the one thing we have is interesting, a lot of uh, twins, they dress them alike. You did right? there. Do you yeah, do that we normally? Do. I, I don't like doing that because you want to have that sense of individuality, individuality yeah, but, personality. but it is cute. It you is got the two is. girls in the outfits, yeah. and then it's fun It's fun dressing them. I mean, Jen they, corrected like, me yesterday. It was yesterday before. I said, well, the twins, blah, blah. She's like, don't say that. She's like, I hated that as a kid. We're not the twins. We're Jen yeah. or Andy. We're right. separate people. Right. And I... She checked me. I didn't. Think it about it is a very special bond already. My girls are have a little conversation. They look out for that each you other guys when don't one hurts. When they, no, they, they they talk in the middle of the night. You just kind of hear them chatting, and it's it's neat. Yeah, there is definitely a bond, I mean, especially more so with identical twins. Yeah. But but even with these girls, they're, 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 they're their best friends. They're their worst enemies. You know, they're, they're but there's always that someone next to you that's always going to be looking out for you. It's got to be an incredible bond. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So get sleep. That's what you're telling me. Get sleep. I'll work on that. You need your energy. <laughs>